this is the bad answer about the best ASA softball bats there are. Today I'm here to talk a little bit about managing blisters and calluses. Now that could be for slow pitch softball like I play, or for fast pitch, or for baseball, or for CrossFit, or whatever you're doing where you're using your hands a lot and it's creating some blisters and calluses. Now for slow pitch softball, I love to get out and take a ton of batting practices if I can. And even if you wear batting gloves, that might limit some of the blisters and calluses, but we just have to face it, they're going to be there. So the question is, how do you manage it? I'll give you a few ideas. Um, I like to stay on the natural side for this, uh, so those are where my ideas are. But feel free to check any comments below or leave any comments if you have other suggestions for any viewers. So as far as blisters, the product I like to use uh, most often is 100% shea butter. It's uh, got a smoky smell to it. Uh, it's 100% and it's like a thick lotion. And it's pretty simple. You, I have almost the start of a crack here pulling away from the callus. And this is actually too much. You don't even need that much on your finger. Just enough to get in there. Press it in there. You do this a couple times a day, especially before you're going to sleep is a good time. You get it in there real nice. You do that, it'll heal up real quick for you. In terms of callus, uh, I think this part of the secret is to minimize it. Callus can be good to, you know, preventing some of the blister and just kind of allowing you to go without batting gloves like myself, like I like to. Uh, but one of the things you really want to do is minimize the callus. And the reason why is, uh, I'll demonstrate with this one here on, the, on my palm under my thumb there. You can see that this one's a little bit it's raised off the skin there. So this one probably needs to get some more filing done on it. The reason is, is when that gets too thick and it's getting a lot of use, it will pull from the nice softer skin around it. And if that pulls and op actually opens that up, if that were to open up, uh, that is a painful one because this continuously pulls away from it. And that will take quite a long time to heal. It will be a lot of shea butter going on that. So I, I want to prevent that. And one of the best ways for that that I've found is simply just using a nail file. So there's, it's as easy as that. You just sit and file it. So after the kids go to bed, sit and talk to my wife or something and file your callus. <laughs> well, I have another one on my uh, bottom hand because um, I use the drop down uh, overlap, full overlap grip. This callus right here, right in the middle of my palm makes the nail file a little bit difficult to get in there. It doesn't do that real well. So one of the things you can do is just pick it off as best you can, but sometimes that's not super easy either. Uh, one of the things you could try is a pumice stone, and it's got that nice kind of corner there. This is a stone people might use, you know, on, the, on their heels or something like that for callus. I'm just gonna do it right there. Again, the whole thing is to minimize it so that it's not pulling away the soft skin. That's how you manage the callus, keep them small. So those are just some ideas for you. Again, leave any questions or comments down below. If you have other ideas that you've tried, you find helpful and want to recommend to other viewers, feel free to leave that. Uh, this is the Bat Hound, everyone sounding off. Be sure to subscribe to the channel up here. Check out some other videos up here and down here. Thanks everybody.